Okay, this is Armando here from Varen Biosystems, and uh, today we're going to do a workout. We actually created that workout uh, the other day using uh, actually Max Powers who created that workout in, in his account. I've logged in here. We're actually showing the screen um, from Exert Mobile, and I'll show you here that uh, we have Max Power logged in. Uh, we did a workout yesterday, and uh, we're going to start one today. So we've actually started recording. Um, we've actually just rode over here to a local park where we're going to do our workout. And uh, to do the workout, we're going to first uh, slide over here to the workout tab and we're going to pick our workout that we created. When I tap here, you'll see that um, what Exert Mobile does is it goes to the server and picks up all of the uh, workouts that have been created, uh, both standard and the ones that that the users created, in which case this was Max, and recalculates all of their strain ratings as well as their durations and focuses um, based on the current signature. So it's kind of convenient. You get to see here how long they will last and uh, the current focus as well as their difficulty. So let's go ahead and slide over. Uh, we believe we created one that was a, a climber, and that is over here. And if we look at the climber workouts, we slide down, we see here's that one we created called race practice. So let's go ahead and select that one. That workout's now loaded into the player. Uh, you can see if I tap here, we can see that both the power uh, targets as well as what happens to MPA uh, during the workout. Um, now, one of the things that we've done to make this more, um, uh, I guess, suitable for outdoor uh, workouts is that we've changed the target duration and target power to use uh, target MPA. Um, and what that means is that rather than saying that the individual um, uh, workout is going to last, let's say, three minutes. So we have a specific duration associated with a workout uh, with a workout interval. We're going to say that that workout is going to end when you reach a certain point in fatigue. And likewise, the recovery part part is also going to be um, a function of the recovery point. So the durations are a function of the targets, both uh, target intensity or target MPA and uh, recovery MPA as well the actual um, uh, wattages are also going to be a function of our, our signature. So we use mean maximal power as well as percentage of power reserve. And that way we just need to ride and listen for the beeps and as the, uh, as the app will beep it will tell us when we've reached our target and then we can go ahead into the next recovery or, or higher intensity interval. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. The first uh, part I think is just going to be a warm-up and um, I think we're probably going to get some wind noise, in which case the remainder of this workout is going to be me talking over my computer. Uh, so apologize that I can't talk to you all the way through this workout, but uh, just wanted to introduce you uh, just before we start it. All right, here you go. Okay, so we're uh, back at our desk here and just thought I'd provide some commentary on what we're going to show or what we're going to see in, in the recording of the workout. Uh, first thing uh, we'll see that uh, you know we're showing our power target on the screen of 136. We have our MPA target, uh, our value at 1315. We're just going to make some configuration changes. So we're going to slide to the activity screen, and then you can see here that we have here what we're showing during the workout uh, on the activity screen is giving you the actual time, nine minutes and 22 seconds left in this interval. We show the, uh, uh, the brown triangle indicating the target power, and then we have the blue triangle indicating the target MPA. Right? We're also going to reconfigure uh, some of the items on the screen that we like to use when we're working out. So we're just going to hold cadence, uh, tap and hold, and, and open up our measurement screen here, and we're going to go ahead and select total strain because we like to kind of keep track of how hard this workout's been. You can see at 34, we've already accumulated some strain after 31 minutes. We're going to tap and hold uh, uh, speed, and we're going to change this to focus. Focus is a good thing to keep track of because we want to make sure that we are uh, you know, executing the workout according to what we have planned. So we, if you recall, this was a, uh, a um, climber-focused 
uh, workout. Uh, right now we're at 11 minutes, and if you remember, climber is a 10-minute duration workout. So we're actually not too far from uh, our target focus at, uh, with 11 minutes. And uh, there you have it. So we're just going to now hop on the bike, and uh, hopefully there we go. We're going to start the workout, and uh, let's go. And so we're, we've uh, we sped up the we've increased the playback speed here uh, just so that we can get through this workout a little quicker. You can see there uh, that the uh, uh, power output uh, and the timer is moving a little quicker than normal. Uh, Ernival's zooming down here, uh, so I think we're about 20 times speed when we're playing this back. And then we are going to slow this down just in a second here to show you what happens at the interval change. Okay, so the um, uh, we slide over here. You can see that our next interval is about to come up, and it'll come up in four seconds. Just as it comes up, we will get a sound, which we won't hear. So we'll hear, we'll hear a beep and a pop-up indicating our target power and the name of the interval. So this was our first wind, and so we, we will now ramp up our power to 385, and we need to reduce our MPA from 1315 to 1210. If you look at the interval time there, it's at one minute and nine seconds. And so long as we uh, maintain a power output near 385, we're going to see that interval timer decrease at one, you know, one to one in terms of one second per second. Uh, if we, if our power is below 385 as it is here, or you see it fluctuating that interval time is going to speed up or slow down based upon the power that we're currently at. All right, so we're trying to hold 385, but because this is outdoors, not always easy. We're often we will encounter traffic or other uh, hills and elements that make it difficult for us to hold 385 precisely. But that's fine because uh, the interval timer will automatically adjust, uh, always adjusting to ensure that we get the um, appropriate uh, strain and uh, focus that we need. So you can see here we sped it back up again, uh, move over to, uh, that was a, uh, we're at another uh, high intensity interval here. Um, you can see that we want to reduce MPA from 1100, reduce it down to 794. Now we're just going to zoom here and then we're going to slow it down to kind of show you what happens to the interval timer when you start to see your power fluctuate, okay? So we're at 288. We're not going to see it move. Actually, it's gone down below, and you see the interval, interval timer increasing, indicating that, you know, we there was no, uh, there's no cheating involved in this workout. We kind of have to achieve 794 for our target MPA. Our MPA will increase and decrease. And then you'll also see that it moves quicker as your power goes above the target. So it'll slow down when it goes below, and then it'll speed up when it goes above. And if you're around your threshold, your interval timer will not move. It'll actually stay steady. So that's another thing to keep note of, is that when you're at your threshold, like we were just there, it wouldn't move. So we sped up the, um, the playback speed again, and we're on a, a recovery. Uh, interval right now and you can see that as we when we recover more it actually speeds up and if we can hold our recovery it actually slows down all right so it's another important aspect when you're looking at recovery that if you let off the gas it'll actually recover faster so our interval uh, doesn't really start until we you know meet our target uh, target power now I'm just gonna let this play through and you get to watch what happens uh, to uh, an interval, just watch the red arrow as you're above, you see it speed up. As you go below, it starts to slow down. If you go all the way below, it'll actually go back in the wrong direction. So we had to rest here because of traffic. And so let's bring up our, our power again. So we had a little bit of a stronger effort there to bring down our MPA and we hold that effort and then we finish interval. There you have it. So you can see how the interval timer will move up and down based upon uh, your, um, your uh, intensity.
Um, so uh, you can also see here that uh, our focus has now moved down to eight minutes. So we're more in closer to a GC specialist focus. You can see our total strain is now increasing 188. So it's quite a significant uh, strain for about an hour. Um, and uh, this has been a pretty good workout so far. You can see on this screen as well where we're trying to hold our target power at 328 watts and then we're a little bit above it there and you can see how MPA is opening up. So MPA, that little wedge on the right, we, we recover, it, it closes and then as our intensity increases that MPA actually opens up. So there's a great indication of what happens to MPA. Now we still haven't reached our, our target yet, so uh, we're just gonna think slow things down because we what we're gonna do in a couple of seconds here is we're gonna try and sprint to see if we can get into the target MPA, or sorry, into the actual MPA. So we're trying to achieve a fitness breakthrough. Now you can see on the screen that we already have one, and that was because of a moment that we had earlier on where we actually managed to get above our MPA, but it was only for, I think, a second. So it's probably not going to qualify as a true breakthrough. But here we go. We're going to try and sprint this. But you see how our, our uh, cadence is a little bit on the low side. So at 100 RPM, at 800 watts, it's probably not going to be sufficient for us to get into a fitness breakthrough. Yet you can see we tried. Um, and uh, there you have it. So we're nearly done uh, the target MPA. And uh, we're just going to sort of skip forward here and get through this workout. So just thought I'd show you a couple of neat little things there. This, uh, again, the playback speed is kind of high. Uh, to show you what happens on the screen uh, during your workout. And eventually, we're just going to end the workout. And uh, press on the elapse button. Press on end workout. And then click yes. Tap yes. And then we're done. The workout's done. Now we're still recording our, our activity, so we still need to get back home, maybe uh, slow down a little bit, do a little bit of uh, additional recovery. And there you have it there. So we're just uh, uh, winding our way back home from the uh, area that we like to do our workouts and just sort of watch this process end. And then in a few seconds here, we'll show you how the activity ends, where we are going to tap on the timer, we can tap on end and then tap on save. And then uh, Exert Mobile will uh, first recalculate and then convert to fit format and then eventually upload this to uh, Exert, uh, Exert Online automatically for you where it gets processed. And there you have it there. So that's the end of our workout. Uh, we're pretty much done. We have the activity summary screen. Uh, that shows us a little more information about what happened during the workout. And we can see here that we have an elapsed time of an hour and 32. And we have total distance at 32.6 kilometers. See our focus is GC specialist, 7 minutes and 7 seconds. The overall difficulty based on 252 kilojoules of total strain is difficult. We have total fat of 30 grams, total carbs 150 grams, and sweat loss of 418 milliliters. Um, also showing us our maximum power at 843 and average power 126, as well as this other information. Um, and there you have it. That uh, summarizes our uh, video for today. And stay tuned for our next video. Thanks.